YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we're going to be doing a full test and review of Survival Boxes, the gear only box for June 2017. So stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, today we're going to be doing a full test and review of the gear only box by Survival Boxes for June 2017. Now for those of you who do not know what Survival Boxes is, it is a multi-platform monthly subscription service and what I mean by that is they di have different packages they offer. They have the Alpha, the Bravo, and the gear only box. Now what I'm going to be focusing on is the gear only box obviously and this where they pretty much just put gear in there. One of my favorite aspects of Survival Boxes is every single month in all of their packages and platforms they offer, they put in their Survival Knowledge Cards. Now this is Survival Knowledge Cards number 17, and I actually collect and save these every single month in their notebook that they actually include every so often. And we have a reference guide that I can use for my kids and give them some awesome opportunities to take some information and learn and so we can practice before we head outdoors. This month's theme is EDC or everyday carry and outdoor survival tools, which is freaking awesome. And uh, it looks like this month, and something they've started doing is they actually have started including Amazon prices because that's where I do a lot of my own independent research. And I love that because they add in the full retail value, but then they actually go through and will actually include the Amazon pricing to show you that for the $89.99 per month you pay for the gear only box, you're still getting an extremely solid value. The first physical item is the fire beater, and these are actually pretty cool. These are by Outdoor Element, and it's basically a 50 pound rated uh, aluminum carabiner that has a seatbelt cutter. It's got the wire gate clasp, so you can hook it onto your pack, but that has a flint wheel, and there's a screw right here on the back end with replaceable flints, and it's basically a flint spark wheel, which is freaking awesome. So you can actually use that with things like cotton balls and tinder quick tabs to start a fire, but it's always on you no matter what. In the realm of fire starting, they have the Soul Fire Light Kit, which is pretty freaking awesome. This is an additional spark wheel, something you can definitely stick in a pack or a fire kit, but they provide you with 20 of the Tinder Quick Tabs, which are freaking awesome. Everybody knows once you fluff those up just a little bit, you can spark those things, get a really big spark off of this little flint wheel, and those things will light up pretty instantly. The next item in the box is a standard Zippo. And for anybody who knows, Zippos are freaking awesome. I think their only drawback actually is the fact that they do lose fuel over time. But um, for an EDC item, these are freaking great. Um, this is just the standard, no logos attached, stone wash finish. It works really, really well. I already put fuel in mine, but the great part about that is they're very wind resistant. The next item in the kit goes along with the Zippo lighter, but this is the carry case, which is a Cordura nylon with a snap button. It has a nice generous belt loop, so you can stick that in, which actually we had no problem doing that, but it's kind of handy, so if your pockets are a little full, this is a nice small subtle pouch you can put your Zippo lighter into so it doesn't get lost and shuffled or accidentally turned on or flicked or messed with anything in your pocket. Most people don't have an issue, but I kind of like the fact that they decided to carry that because it kind of gives you a fun yet more sturdy carry option for your lighter. The next item is the Night Eyes S Beaner, which is rated for about, I think, 75 pounds. I love S Beaners because it gives you an ability to connect from both ends. You can it's, it's just really quick to deploy and take uh, on and off anything from your pack and include it into your items, which makes it really handy. So if you have everything like a thermos, you gotta strap it to your belt loop or your backpack. It's really quick and simple and it can hold quite a bit of weight. The next item is by a company called Shrade. A lot of people in the outdoors and EDC community know who Shrade is. They offer decent budget tools at a very, very, very affordable price. It is their Tough Tool, which is an EDC multi-tool they offer. This runs about between $15 and $19 online, but it is a standard multi-tool. It's got the uh, wire cutters, it has the strippers and pliers on it, which everybody loves. Plus it has tools on the outside. Now it does carry with a nice, very handy belt loop carry. So you have a pouch for it because it doesn't have a pocket clip. The only minor gripe I have with this tool and it's not necessarily like survival boxes fault or anything is the fact that this tool does not have a way to lock it. It's basically friction locked. So if you try to do any serious work with this tough tool, 
um, outside the pliers, it's not gonna be as easy because these things, uh, the tools can just close up on you. The next item on the list is a really nice budget knife. This is the Gerber Paraframe 1. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this thing has been around for a very long time. I wanna say this was the second knife I ever freaking owned. I think my first one was like a straight old timer um, knife that my grandfather gave me and this was the first one I ever bought for myself. I think I got it at Walmart when I was, I think 18. And um, it's pretty nice. It's got a frame lock on it. It's designed to be very lightweight. It's a simple blade. I think it uses um, 420 HC stainless steel, which is a decent budget steel. It's got the two thumb knobs, but it's nice and thinly profiled, good for light duty, for someone who needs a beater knife that they can use for everyday tasks, not really worry about it. The last item in the kit I think that I hit an absolute home run with, this is the Prandy, which is a German hatchet. And this thing's actually freaking sweet. It is super solid uh, hickory handle construction. I mean, this thing is thick. I mean, you can see this thing. It is definitely based off the profile, gonna be a very good cutter and slicer. Not gonna be the best splitter. You're definitely gonna want a little bit more uh, profile there, but for smaller logs, you should be able to get the job done. It mine is still sharp, considering the fact that we have used this quite a bit outdoors. Um, this thing, this poor thing had to compete with the only wood I had around, which was very super, super tough um, mesquite and oak that we have um, here at the house. And this little hatchet, I would definitely say you would want something a little bit longer, or a little heavier head for that. But using this as a hammer, a really good cutter, I think, oh man, it is such a solid freaking head. This is exactly how a really good, you know, $60, $70 budget hatchet is supposed to be designed. It's, I'm so happy with this thing. Like, I can't believe this quality of a tool made in this box for $89.99. Comparatively speaking, for an ax of this quality, you're gonna be looking at things very similarly to like the Husqvarna ax, which is priced around 40, 45 bucks, which basically this one item will take up half the price of the box. Also, if you look up the Prandy, uh, we did some research on Amazon currently at the time of filming. It's not in stock, but as soon as it goes in stock, I'll definitely drop an Amazon link down in the video description so you guys can uh, verify the research findings that I found. But we did find it on eBay, and I want to say the cheapest eBay price is between 30 to 50 bucks. All in all, I think that Survival Boxes as a subscription service is improving and they're trying really hard to go big and provide higher quality items, bigger name brand items, and the items they put in there definitely make sure that they're keeping the same thought process and the idea behind being a well-rounded service well intact. But that just about does it for now. If you enjoyed the full test and review of the Gear Only Box for June 2017, definitely throw this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family and your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that just about does it for now. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.